What's up everyone? It's Travel Cat Mom here with We Love Cats and Kittens and today we're going to review a cat backpack. So today we'll be covering all the details so you can decide if this backpack is right for you and your cat. So this is a pet backpack from Picute. This company has cat backpacks, dog carriers, bird cages, tons of travel supplies, and really good ratings. It looks like you can only buy it on Amazon because when you go to purchase it on their site, they redirect you to Amazon. The price of this backpack is $54.99. Since it's Amazon only, you get free shipping if you have Prime. So the main features of this backpack include an expandable back, which I thought was just an extra large pocket. <laughs> Plenty of ventilation, lots of visibility, there are three windows, and oh, you can see through the mesh. It includes a chest clip and a waist strap, which is super nice and useful. My cat is very heavy, so it really helps to have that extra support in both areas for me. It has a removable bottom, lots of storage pockets with zippers so you won't lose your things. It has even a pouch on the side for doggy bags, which is useful for dogs. Maybe not as much for cats, but you could still find a use for that. And a safety strap on the inside to hook onto your cat's harness so they don't fall out if they want to like hang out of the backpack. I was surprised by my cat's initial reaction. He took to it right away. I just said, get in. He just got in and made himself comfortable. He seemed very relaxed. And when I started walking around with him with the backpack on, he even laid down. And then I realized that the other backpacks that I have aren't as wide as this one is. So he was actually able to lay down comfortably. So that was really cool to see. Um, did not expect that at all. I have the backpack right here. These are the instructions it came with. Not very helpful. The very first thing it says is about the scratches. They're not scratches, it's protective films. They're talking about this. So it looks like it's scratched, but it's it's just plastic that you have to peel off. And then it just says, please peel off. Um, how? Doesn't say anything about how to get around these. So I, it's like, I don't even know where to start as far as peeling these off. I don't wanna scratch the windows. You have to peel it off on both sides, which is like even more frustrating. I just ended up like starting here. What I found a little bit easier is to just kind of like, just rip it fast. And that seems to like do a better job of just, but as you can see, there's still um, plastic stuck in there. I don't know how to get that off. It's super annoying to have to peel that stuff off. And then the next thing it says is about the smell. I didn't personally notice any smell about it at all. So I don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, uh, that's it. Yeah, there's no backside. This is all you get and only like a couple sentences are in English. So, and then can we just, I haven't done this yet because I just found out about this. This is not a pocket. Okay, guys. Oh, I see how, I see, I see, I see it, I see it. <gasps> oh my god, that's cool. That's so cool. Okay, so I didn't know that existed. I actually thought that was a pocket. Oh, so, there's a strap right here too. So I've never seen something like this before. I really thought it was a pocket. I thought you just put stuff in there and like, and then when I saw this, I thought this was a pocket in the pocket. So the pros of this backpack, I would say are, first of all, it's pretty stylish. I think it's a really cute backpack. It's just like all black with gold zippers. It's really simple, but it's really nice looking. I liked that. My cat took to it immediately. He was interested in it right away. He seemed very comfortable in it. There's enough room for him to lay down. It's comfortable to wear. It has both a chest and waist strap. And the bottom is so soft. Like I wish I could get in there. Some cons about this backpack, I would say, are super annoying plastic wrap. It was really annoying to try and peel off. Um, it just kept tearing and like, I still miss some and like, especially around the air holes. It's like, I feel like it's impossible to get all of the plastic wrap off of it. So like there's some pieces just like hanging there. It could be a little taller in my opinion, just cause my cat is so big. It's really helpful to have that extra wide space for him to, to lay down in. But it also would be helpful if he wants to stand up for him to stand all the way up and like 
not have to crouch down or not like hit his head on the top. I probably will be like opening the top for him and just attaching the safety leash on. It comes with one sheet of instructions, uh, which is not helpful at all. It doesn't really explain anything. Not that the backpack needs much explaining, but um, for people like me who think that the expandable back is a pocket, they could have included that so that was very unclear to me. So my final review after testing it, first of all, my cat's rating, I would say is pretty high. I think that he actually enjoyed it, got in right away. It seemed to be comfortable for him as well as myself. It's lightweight, but durable. I mean, I haven't used it that much, so it has pretty good storage. Maybe the pockets could be a little bigger. The one on the side that has a zipper is like perfect for your phone, but a lot of backpacks have like the mesh pockets on the sides where you can like stick water bottles and stuff in like I feel like that would be really useful but I do like the unique storage pockets they have such as the doggy bag pouch I like that these pockets actually have zippers the instructions I just think that they should have included a bit more than what they did like it should come with like something that explains the features and shows the features just like a little annoying things but if, if you can get past those annoying things this could be a really good backpack the size i think is pretty good i just think it could maybe be a little bit taller and the price is 54.99 higher end backpacks that are really good on the market can run up to hundreds of dollars i think for for what this backpack is the features that it has and the quality of it i think the price is fair i think it's pretty good I don't think it's very expensive. That's my take. With all things considered, I think my final rating for this backpack would have to be a four out of five. Overall, I really like it um, more than I thought that I would, mostly because my cat liked it immediately. It is a good backpack. I don't know how durable it actually is because I haven't been using it for very long. So we'll see. All right, outside. Did you get it?